Um, you know, just uh, to give you know the community of Humboldt, uh, you know, a day to come together and uh, you know a day to you know happiness and just uh, you know see the cup and uh, you know hopefully put some smiles in some people's faces. For you personally, why was this? For you personally, why was this so important? Sorry, say that again. <laughs> for you personally, why was this so important to do this today? Uh, it's just it's, it's close to home. I mean, um, just down the road uh, in Saskatoon and. Um, you know, just being a part of hockey, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a sport, you know, that's so much bigger than, uh, than uh, you know, what you'd expect and all the friendships that you build and uh, the brotherhood that you, you form throughout the years and uh, things like that. So, um, you know, it's uh, something that, uh, you know, uh, hit the hockey community pretty hard. You, you made the promise to, to do this um, during that playoff run. Now that you're here, now that you, you know, spent some time talking with some of the members, what, what are some of the emotions that are kind of bubbling to the surface for you? Uh, it's tough. I mean, uh, you know, um, you know, seeing some of the parents and village families and things like that, um, you know, it's tough to, um, you know, to talk to them and um, just, uh, you know, all you can do is give your condolences and, um, you know, Nothing can replace the life, so uh, you just try to help out as much as you can, and um, that's what uh, this day was all about. Chandler, where did your mind go on April 6th when you heard about what happened, unfortunately? Um, I don't uh, even really know. Um, there's so many, uh, you know, feelings and um, emotions behind it, and uh, it's something that, you know, it uh, should never happen. You can't really uh, put into words. Um, it's not supposed to happen ever, and... Um, you know, it's uh, the brotherhood and uh, the bond that you form on the bus and, um, you know, it being a second home and, um, you know, some of those uh, road trips are the best times and uh, the best memories that you have. You've ridden the bus. Have you ever seen or thought of anything could happen like that to you? You've never been in a situation where something like that you know, sort of went, whoa, what's going on? Uh, no. Um, you know, I've been uh, fortunate enough to... Um, you know, never have an experience like that, but, um, you know, you hear about it uh, here and there, but, um, you know, as far as, uh, you know, something like that happening, it's, uh, you know, it's still, uh, there's, you know, no words to describe it. And you may want to go to your bus driver every once in a while and say, gee, thanks for doing a great job like that over the course of the year. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, guys getting off the bus, uh, even if it's just, you know, uh, in the city driving from the rink to the hotel or things like that, you just, you know, thanks, you know, he's a... Uh, it's a tough job. Um, I mean, they uh, have a lot of lives in their hands. Chandler, I, I know it was a private event in there, but can you share anything about what it was like, like who you talked to, anything, anything like that? Uh, some of the parents. Um, I didn't get uh, around to everyone uh, quite yet, but, um, you know, just uh, talking to people, saying hi, and, uh, you know, people were just around the cup getting their pictures and things like that, and, um, you know, that's kind of was the main focus is uh, to bring it here and, you know, to uh, have them you know, get their pictures and, um, you know, smile and um, just, you know, enjoy the day. I think part of, like, when we were organizing today and Chandler bringing the cup here is, is obviously a, a huge deal. And, and for us at the league and with the PA, you know, we had a number of guys reach out and same thing, not necessarily know what to do. And I think that's what a lot of us felt. And, you know, in talking to the, to the Broncos and to the community, um, you know, one of the most powerful things is just to come together and be together. And, and so really, I think that, you know, as, as a bunch of players and, you know, families and billets and, you know, the, the kids that are, are the next generation coming up and you know, that's who's in that room. And, and I think being together and being around each other and uh, just being uh, a community is, was, uh, is, is really what happened is what it's what's happening today and, and what, uh, you know, what's been so, so powerful, you know, it's just getting everybody in the same room and, being able to lean on each other. It's uh, uh, very, you know, kudos obviously to Chandler for for being the catalyst for this. How quickly did it all come together for you though, Andrew? I mean, this is a no-brainer to do this sort of a thing, right? Well, it's it's really just with guidance of the with the Broncos and, and of, of Humboldt, right? I mean, like I said, we we don't know what to do, mm -hmm. you know, other than um, to try to bring, bring together the NHL guys that, you know, wanted to be here. They wanted to be in the community, I think. You know, Chan touched on you know how we all rode the bus. You know we all have that brotherhood and know what it feels like. And guys reached out right away to the to the PA and said we want to do something. You know, and so just just being here is is something that you know we know we can do. Um, it might not be everything, but it, it's something, and it's at least a day that we can all come together and, and you know have have some good feelings around hockey. Andrew, what's going to
talked to you earlier, and I sense there's a struggle between this is supposed to be a celebration, but at the same time, it's a celebration that's brought together through tragedy. What's it like, kind of, with those two competing feelings? Like, how, what's it like walking that tightrope? Well, we, nobody knows what, what the right answer is. You know, it's, like I said, we, we're, we're at a loss for, you know, what's, what's the right thing to do. And nobody knows. I, I, what we do know is that, you know, when you can bring people, like I said, together into the room so that you can hug and you can, you know, talk to each other and just be around each other, uh, I think there's something very powerful about that. You know, the hockey community is tight. You know, we have... Uh, Obviously, so much in common, common experiences of, of playing junior and being on the buses and being a brotherhood and, and having those type of bonds with our billet families and whatnot. And um, you know, it might not be, uh, you know, you know, a grand plan or something like that that's going to help you know everybody. But it's something you know, like I said, just to to come together is is, is something that we thought was was positive and powerful. Chandler, when when this happened, I mean, in your locker room in Washington, I mean. What were you guys talking about? Was that a point of conversation? How are you guys as a team impacted by something like that? Um, I mean, it just uh, it brings back, uh, you know, a lot of the things that I was saying earlier about, uh, you know, the brotherhood that you formed and things like that. And, um, you know, just uh, how close you guys come together. And, um, you know, it's like losing, uh, like, a family member uh, when something like that happens, like a brother. And, um, you know, it's uh, something that, you know, it's... Uh, Terrible thing you can't uh, you can't replace a life. Uh, you you mentioned you know the brotherhood you form on on the bus. This is really just another you know way of showing the hockey community is you know really tight knit. You know everyone knows everybody in the hockey community. Yeah, for sure. I mean uh, it just goes to show with uh, you know that uh, GoFundMe. I mean I think they wanted to raise a hundred thousand and it went to fifteen million, and uh, so that just shows you know how how close everyone is and um, you know. Uh, everybody knows everybody in, in the hockey world, so um, it's something that uh, you know that everybody wants to do as much as they can and help out as much as they can. But um, you know, like Andrew was saying, there's uh, you know, there's so much you can do and help out as much as you can. But um, you know, like I was, you know, keep uh, you know saying it, you, you just kind of replace life. So to see, guys to oh, see sure. training camp go ahead this weekend alongside the celebration. What does that tell you about the resiliency of this team and this community? I mean, it's uh, it's fantastic. I mean, um, you know, just to see everybody and um, you know all the support and uh, being here and um, you know making the day possible and you know planning it and everything like that from you know the uh, city of Humboldt and you know from the NHL and the NHLPA to do something like this and um, you know to get everyone together and um, you know to have a team going forward. It's uh, it's obviously something that. Uh, you know, it's fantastic to see. When you said you were going to bring the cup here, did you envision, you know, this amount of everything that's going on around it as well, or were you just kind of thinking, I'm going to bring it and do what I can? Uh, this is kind of snowballed. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's uh, snowballed for sure, but I think it's, uh, you know, for the right reason. It's not, uh, you know, um, to, you know, get in the limelight or anything like that. I just uh, wanted to do what I could and uh, help out as much as I could. And, um, you know, there's... Uh, you know, a lot of talk about it, um, you know, uh, just kind of going into playoffs that, you know, if if we were to win the cup, that this is uh, something that I wanted to do. This is the last question for Chandler, then he's got to get into the public event. Living in Saskatoon, what did you have, uh, what did you, what was your relationship with Humboldt? Did you ever come play in Humboldt? Did you ever have, uh, did you ever have to come to Humboldt for any sports growing up in, in Saskatoon? Uh, yeah, a few tournaments uh, through minor hockey and things like that, but um, never, uh, was a Bronco or uh, played for them, but um, you know a lot of buddies uh, have gone through the organization, and um, two guys that uh, were on the team last year, uh, Braden Camrud and Caleb Dahlgren, and I skate with them and work out with them throughout the summers and things like that. So um, that's kind of you know something that uh, it's just down the road and it's it's, just, it's Saskatchewan, you know, uh, it's a small province, but um, you know a lot of people know uh, a lot of people, so it's uh, it's something that you know is a no-brainer. Right, that's, that's it for Chandler. If anyone has any questions for Andrew or Chris, uh, they can finish their scrum, and then we will have uh, Jamie and Caleb. Yeah. Andrew? Hi, yeah. Rob Vanstone. Hey, Rob. How are you doing? Good, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Mr. Fretton, you've seen it on a big league level. Just oh, yeah. 
Yeah, getting questions about such a sensitive uh, uh, topic to really uh, articulate, and I, I feel like one word that wasn't thrown around was, was support. You know, um, players reach out to us overwhelmingly, wanting to know what they could do to support the community. The hockey world's a small one, um, and and you know they may not be connected directly, but like what was said, we all rode the bus. You know, um, we've all been in situations where things could have gone wrong and they, they didn't. You know, on those buses, buses breaking down in storms. That really resonates with guys. And, and you know, I couldn't be more proud to represent them standing here right now, speaking on their behalf. Um, the overwhelming uh, reach out and, and support. That's what they wanted to support this community and let them know, you know, look, you're not alone. And, and the timing, you know, it's difficult. You, know, you don't know. No one's ever going to forget, you know, what, what happened here. Um, so uh, we're, just, we're just happy to be here today and, and uh, you know, big ups to Chandler for, uh, for doing what he's done. In your time with the PA, have you ever seen the players respond to something the way that they've responded to this? No, I, I've only been on staff for two years. Um, something uh, that's touched our, our group um, to the level this, this one has. I don't know, but uh, I, I'm not sure about that. When it comes to the, the spectrum of emotions that people in this community have felt, dating back to April to now with such positivity with the celebration, do you know what to expect when you start interacting with people in the Stanley Cup? Uh, you know, I didn't. I got a chance, though, to speak to uh, the families. And, and um, you know, I'll say this, the resilient group. You know, it's really impressive um, how far this community's come, and it's great to see. You know, it, it's when I walked into this building yesterday, no one was here, it, it affected me. So to have them and, and see how positive they are and resilient and um, really happy about the opportunity to be here today, to be around our, our players, um, you know, it, it's just, it's great. And our players would stand up here and say, you know, to some extent, it's, it's our duty to be here. And other you know, than how, much, how much is this, you know, months after this crash, is it important to, for you guys to continue to have some of that connection, I guess? Yeah, yeah, this will never be forgotten. You know, never. Um, the timing of the event, it was difficult, you know, with what happened. Um, you know, there was an outreach early on, and, and it's, it's sensitive. You know, families are going through a process of, of grieving, you know, and, and you just want to let them know that, that we're here, you know, and they're supported and, and we're thinking of them. Um, so, you know, whether it was then or now, um, it's just, it's great we're here. It's great for us to be able to interact and, and, and um, get to know some members of the communities. And, um, you know, going forward, uh, I want to be there. I want to be there to support them, you know, with, uh, you know, the families with whatever they have going on or, you know, um, those boys won't be forgotten.